Are you playing with them? This is Rocco, you guys. He is the most cutest, the most energetic little Pomsky ever. He, we got him a little over a week ago, so this upcoming Friday is gonna be two weeks. And he's doing really, really well. I honestly kind of feel like he needs to go outside right now. I'm not really sure because we were just outside. Or he wants to play with me. I don't know. He's a little troublemaker. But Rocco, come here. Rocco, come here. Show him your eyes. See, I have one blue, one brown eye, and I'm so handsome. He's so cute, you guys. He is a little over. Yeah, he definitely wants to play. He's a little over 10 pounds. So we're thinking he's going to get to like 30-ish pounds. So that'll be a really good size for us. But... For the time being right now, we just have... Yes, Rocco, do you want to play? I'll come on that side, but then you're just going to bite me. He is a biter. Yeah, Joey, get the toys, get the toys. He's so good with him. He, the first couple of days that we had him, it was kind of hard. I'll like touch on that a little bit later, but right now they're doing really well. I am home all day from school by myself, so we're really still trying to potty train this little guy. Accidents yesterday, there were none. Today, I think he did already kind of go right here, but it wasn't a lot. So I don't know if like Joey stopped him. Rocco, or if he stopped himself. All of this like gated off just because we don't want him to go over there. And then we also have this section like gated off. So he only has access to basically the living room, which is really good for potty training. Cause otherwise, he was peeing over here by like the door over there because he was thinking that it was like outside or something. I don't know. I think he was just very confused, but that was like his pee spot. And so ever since we gated this off, he will occasionally pee here and sometimes here, but it's a lot easier to manage because if you're sitting at the table or on the couch, no matter like what angle you're at, you can see him. So it's really good, but this is Rocco. Rocco. <laughs> He is so energetic, you guys. He's going crazy. <laughs> Rocco. Is it good? Down. Down? Down. Down what? You want down what? <laughs> Uh-oh. All the leaves? Oh, that's a broken one. Broken fruit. Ew. Ew. Alright, put it down. Good job. We were just outside with Rocco so we could pee because we always had an accident shortly after I took like that last clip of him playing in the living room. He had an accident, which is okay. He's definitely still learning, but I want to give you guys some updates on like Rocco and also school and all the things because I know I've been MIA on YouTube a little bit, not posting as regularly as I used to. And it's just because this past uh -oh. week has been a lot going on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, did it break? No. Your vacuum cleaner, it fell off the thing? No. You want me to fix it? It's just been a lot. I had my first exam for my class this past week. And so I've been dedicating a lot of time to that class just because it's very like reading heavy and it's not so much like lecture and PowerPoint content, even though she does lecture, it's still, you have to read basically everything that she assigns. And uh, I did okay on the last exam. It was definitely not my best exam, but moving forward, I know that I have to dedicate a lot of time. The next test is next week on friday and so sorry you guys joey is playing with his vacuum cleaner and so if there's a lot of background noise that's why uh -oh. yeah so uh -oh. uh oh it broke no yeah <laughs> okay he's showing me five more like five more minutes i don't know if that's like five more minutes to fix it or what but he's okay with it being broken yeah it's just been a lot um especially because it was also the first week we got rocco last week and so like potty training him and making sure that like joey is okay because the transition was definitely a little bit a lot for joey he's super excited for the dog like he is absolutely in love with it everyone is we are over the moon for this dog it was definitely the right decision to get one for us but it was just a lot like the first couple of days so we got him friday night and then so saturday morning when joey woke up he was here and so obviously it was like the first day for all of us we had never potty trained a dog before just like the house we weren't sure how to like set everything up and so now our layout is totally better because i showed you guys earlier we like blocked off the living room but it was a lot just because every time we had to take rocco outside joey would scream because he was thinking that like the dog is going away and that he wasn't going to come back and so now definitely it's a lot smoother like we just say we're going to go pee and poo with the dog outside and he either wants to come 
or sometimes he will say that he just wants to play and so that makes it easy because the living room's totally blocked off so it, he's safe in here and he can always look out the window if he wants to but yeah it was just a lot the first couple of days and now it's getting easier the dog is definitely not potty trained by any means We've been looking up so many videos. He's doing a lot better. Yesterday was the first day that he had no accidents. And I really do think, do you want me to take that off? Like I was saying, yesterday was the first day that he didn't have any accidents. And it's definitely because the first couple of days that we were home with him, he was having accidents a lot because I told you guys he was peeing over by the, the door to our balcony. I think he was just thinking it's outside because you can see outside. And it was just confusing because it was at like floor level so he could see it. But yesterday was the first day that we left him in his crate because we've been crate training him and that's honestly super helpful. But yesterday was the first day that he had to stay in the crate like for a longer period of time during the day just because I had to go to school. Obviously, Joe had to go to work because the first couple of days Joe like took off of work to help with the dog and like get him accustomed to the house, which was definitely helpful. But because of the fact that he was in the crate for a little bit longer, he had no accidents because when he's in the crate, he holds it. And my mom came in at like noon to bring Joey home for his nap. And so that way she could take the dog out. And so it wasn't like too long of a time for him to be in the crate and he didn't have any accidents at all and then during the day when we would let him out he would play but then he would know that it's like time to go outside so that was definitely helpful but today on days that he's out of his crate because i just don't want him stuck in there the whole day i want him to be able to play and like enjoy the living room he has more accidents and so that has definitely just been a process it's not perfect we're gonna get there it's okay joe and i were saying that it's very hard i feel like with the dog right now but we don't regret it whatsoever it was the right time for us to do it it's just it's just gonna take some time but it's gonna be really rewarding in the end and then also today joey just laid down on the floor to show you guys he's saying hi to rocco he is in love with rocco do you love rocco yeah, yeah. the sunshine in your eyes huh rocco are you chewing on the legs rocco he is a chewer you guys but anyways like i was saying so between rocco and like school it's just been a lot and so i definitely going forward until i finish this class it might still continue to be like this very irregular schedule because i will only be able to pick up my phone and vlog for you guys when i can this week is definitely chiller so we're doing it today we're gonna try to do like a day in a life today and take you guys along we are actually heading out soon probably in like 10 minutes to actually go and get joey a haircut i made an appointment for this morning which is good i'm so happy i don't know if i said this but today i'm actually off of school because it's election day and i'm very happy that we have off school because i have to catch up on so much school work like i have an eight page paper to write i also have like simulation homework that we have to do for when we do like simulations with like cpr and it's just a lot of prep because i want to be prepped when i go i haven't been like the head nurse yet and so i know that's coming up soon we like usually pick because our group's really good about like picking who's gonna go but it's definitely like you have to read up on everything. And so I have to catch up on that. And then I also have to catch up on other homework. And so like between today and then Thursday, it's also my off day. I'm catching up on that. In the midst of also like doing stuff around the house, like Joey needs a haircut and all the things. But I thought today would be a good day to take you guys along with us. So I'm gonna have to prep before we leave the house for his haircut. Cause I have to do like water bottle and I have to get him some snacks cause I don't know how long we're gonna be gone. And hopefully that goes really well. I'm probably going to let him watch Miss Rachel on my phone. But you guys will see. He's going to be so handsome after. Here. Good job. You want Lola? No, Lola? Yeah. Okay. He looks so handsome. There you go. You're much handsome. Where's my handsome boy? You look so good. Yeah. Ready to go home? Yeah. Let's go. Hey. Just got home. Joey, can I see your cute little haircut? Oh, handsome boy. He did so good. He just watched Miss Rachel basically the whole time and didn't really cry because of that. And I was holding him. More treat? No, Rocco just got one. You played with him for a little bit, you gave him a treat, and now he has to eat his food. We're all done. Is it nap time? Guys, look, Rocco bit through his hoodie right here. He has such sharp teeth. All done, treats. You guys look at the two of them. They're best friends. 
He's so in love with the dog and he's getting better at like listening to us, the dog, when we say stop biting Joey, because for us, it's really a big thing. We don't want him jumping on top of him like he is, because you guys already saw he tore a hole in his shirt, but it's okay. They're pl gonna play over there while I situate us over here. I actually stopped at Target and I got diapers. This is my first time getting this brand. And the only reason is because I usually get the all good ones at Walmart, but they were out of stock when I ordered them. So I got these. And then I also ended up getting water wipes because Joey's diaper rash is still there. I don't know if you remember me talking about it in one of my most recent last vlogs. I was talking about how I got like the butt paste, the red gooey stuff that a lot of people use for like diaper cream because joey's having a really bad diaper rash i think it helped a little bit but it's definitely still there so the diapers that he uses the only reason why i got those i said is because they didn't have the other ones and then these i read online really quickly when you're at target that they're good like comparable i think to that other brand because the pampers pure are expensive it's like almost 45 dollars for a box so i got those because those run about the same price as the ones that i usually get and then we're going to try to water wipes see if they work i don't know i hear people use these and really like them they are more expensive of a wipe i don't know if it's like irritation i don't know what it is and then he cries and i just don't want him to not like diaper changes because i feel i don't know i don't know if it's diaper or not we're gonna see i'll let you guys know how that goes but i have to put joey down for a nap soon so i'm gonna like clean up the kitchen a little bit and then i'm gonna put him down for a nap and then all i have to do is watch rocco and do my homework when we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight how I do it all with a toddler and a little puppy is I crate him for like times when I can't keep my eyes on him if I'm not sure if he's going to use the bathroom so like when I was putting Joey down for a nap I gave him a treat since I knew he wasn't going to want to go in there or like not that he doesn't want to go in there he just wants to come right back out because when he's tired I'll just lay down and sleep but I gave him a treat and now he's good and then obviously once Joey is down I just take him out of the crate and I take him outside and then that is probably a really good like break when it comes to like taking both joey and rocco outside just because joey's been getting definitely better in terms of even like going into the street and then listening like we are outside to take rocco outside so he can go pee and poo and he understands because like i mentioned earlier at first he was crying and screaming and it was just even hard getting him out the door when we were trying to do that but this week it's a lot better so also honestly i thought it was going to be a lot worse in terms of potty training i i don't really know i didn't really know what to expect like we've had dogs but this is obviously our first one that like we are training and so I had no idea what to expect, but he's doing well. We're not using puppy pads. We were using them the first two nights and our original plan was to put him in a kennel and then put the crate in the kennel. And so like the thing that separates our living room right now from the table is a four by four kennel, but he managed to escape the kennel. Second night in, he jumped over it and we found him on the floor on top of like blankets from the couch. So we were like, we can't use the kennel anymore because he's just going to keep doing that. And we also don't want him hurting himself doing that. So it's good. The crate works really well for him. He actually, in the middle of the night, he has to go to the bathroom. He will whine and Joe will take him out and then he sleeps through the rest of the night. So I would say nights are really good. It's just, we have to get the days down, but he will be fully grown and better by the spring. So it, it's going to be okay. Like it was, we knew it was going to be a little rough going into it, but since he's sleeping right now, and Joey's sleepy right now. That means I can cook dinner. So I'm going to start dinner. I'm going to do a crock pot beef. I'll show you guys. And then I have to do my eight page paper or start it or at least like outline it because that way I can work on it in pockets of my time and I'm not like super stressed because if I don't have an outline, I don't really know where I'm going to be going with the paper and then it's just going to be stressful. So I'm going to try to tackle those two things, but let me show you guys the beef that I'm going to do. So I've actually already shared this recipe before on my channel in a previous video and I actually went back to it to see how long I cooked it. But all you need is you just need stew, beef meat, Parmesan cheese. And last time I made this, I didn't have beef broth, but we, we have some in like the fridge. So I'm just going to use the rest of this and then heavy whipping cream. And then I also add mushrooms in like with an hour left of cooking. So you're gonna cook this on high for four hours and then obviously spices.
inside and no limit to what I just finished doing some of my homework for school. I was able to do those simulation activities and I was able to finish a quiz that I actually forgot we even had due tomorrow. So I did that and I did not set up my essay, but that's okay because we have off on Thursday too and I might work on that later tonight. And so I'm gonna probably pop in some chicken nuggets into the air fryer for Joey since he really enjoys those. But you guys look at what Rocco is doing right now. He is tearing up his bed or not like really because anytime that he bites it too hard we tell him to stop and he will but he moved it from all the way over there all the way to here and now he's playing with it but he's so happy because he woke up from his afternoon nap and now he's ready to go and play Rocco what are you doing are you laying there all cute look at you <laughs> I feel like on camera his eyes look so different than in like real life because even when we saw pictures of him online it just doesn't look the same when we met him like in person I don't know his the difference or like I don't know it just doesn't look the same we were seeing how sometimes dogs with like two different colored eyes might look a little cuckoo but it really does not look like that in person like he's so cute Rocco Rocco mm -hmm. Anyways, though, I'm gonna pop in these chicken nuggets. These are Joey's favorite. And I usually do them in the microwave, but Joey prefers them way better if I like bake them in the air fryer because they're a lot more tender and don't get as chewy and hard as fast versus the microwave. So I'm gonna air fry these. And then another one of my favorite meals for Joey when we're in a rush is actually this Dino Truck pizza. I get this at Target as well. And uh, this is really good. Even Joe and I tried it last time we made this for him and it was really good. Like we finished the rest of it because usually Joey will eat like a few pieces and it's literally the size of this box. So you can put it in the fridge for leftovers or you can just eat it yourself. But I'm going to pop this in the air fryer and then I'm going to wait on Joey to wake up. Joey, you want to eat chicken nuggets? Puppy. Where's the puppy? Puppy went outside with Dada. Da. Puppy went outside. All right, here you go. I also realized that she cut his hair with the part going this way and usually his hair is parted the other way. But it's okay, we'll just fix it like that. We'll just fix it like that. You're so handsome. How'd you sleep? So good, I had to wake him up because he was going on three and a half hour nap and soon it would have been five because it's already 4.52, I woke him up at 4.30. So either way, I think we might have a little bit of an issue of you going down at 8.30 today. What do you think? What do you think? Good, do you want some water? No. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, water, wawa. Wawa. All right, let's get your wawa. Let's get your wawa. Here you go. All right, then I added in the mushrooms into the crock pot beef that I'm making. And it smells really good. There's about oh, an hour. Yeah, an hour and 11 minutes left, so that'll be good timing. Did you cry? No, because he just say no. No, he did not cry. Because I just let him watch that one thing on my phone. What, who just did? Good? Your cauliflower rice? Mm. Are you gonna eat more dinner? No. Oh, you're full? Eat, eat, eat. eat. Uh, apple. You want an apple? Uh, uh, mm. I say rice. Good job. Did you eat rice? Yeah. Was it good? Tell me 
Other side. Other side. Open up the closet. Can you open up the closet? Good job. Mm -hmm. Bravo, Yuzio. Get your beep beep out. Two. Okay, get two out. We're going to read this one? Yeah. Which one is this one? Blue. Blue. Oh, this is the Chuck one. <gasps> Little blue truck makes a friend. Alright, can you open it? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I just took a shower. We finished cleaning up the kitchen and now Joe is taking Rocco out because he woke up hey. from his nap. He was actually playing outside with the dogs. There are so many dogs that live in our neighborhood hey. and so usually Joey's pooping, but usually around like five-ish, they like all congregate together. And then if you want, you can like let your dog play with all the other ones. And then that way they can like get their energy out. And Rocco's definitely all about that. He wants to play so much because he's so little still and has so much puppy energy. But I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog here because we're just kind of waiting until Joey goes down for the night. We're going to continue reading and then start his bedtime routine. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Closer, I want to stay here with you. All that we have is each other.